last Sunday, we began our catechetical review about the Eucharist in celebration of the year of the family and the Eucharist, which coincides with the year of mercy. We said that the Eucharist is the memorial of Christ, our Lord who is mercy and love, whose death and rising conquered all evil, and who continues to pray for us in heaven. Today, let us reflect on another aspect of the Eucharist, thanksgiving and praise to God the Father. Friends, the term Eucharist is derived from the Greek word eucharistia, which means thanksgiving. And in every celebration of the Eucharist, the Catechism teaches, we offer a sacrifice of praise in thanksgiving for the work of creation. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. We are moved to thanksgiving because in remembering Christ, we remember the sacrifice of love that renewed us and the whole of creation. Through the unique sacrifice of Christ, of His life, culminating on the cross, says the letter to the Hebrews, all of creation had been consecrated. The earth, bread, wine, human labor and time had been transformed into Jesus' gift of love to the Father for our salvation. Pope Francis adds, The Eucharist is the supreme thanksgiving to the Father, who so loved us that He gave us His Son out of love. And what did the Son do through His sacrifice? St. Paul, in his letter to the Colossians, tells us, Jesus the Son reconciled all things, all of creation, to Himself, making peace by the blood of His cross. This sacrifice we offer at Mass can only be possible and acceptable to the Father because of the sacrifice of the Son, who, as the Catechism teaches, unites all of us to His own person, making our praise and thanksgiving to the Father offered through Him, with Him, and to be accepted in Him. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours forever and ever. Amen. So, dear friends, every time you attend Mass, please thank and praise the Father for His love, which was made known to us by the Son and which the Holy Spirit keeps alive in us. We thank and praise our God who is love, whose love consecrated and renewed all of creation, whose love afforded us reconciliation and salvation, whose love is poured into our hearts. There you go, brothers and sisters. We hope that being reminded of this character of the Eucharist would help us to better participate in it and to dispose ourselves in a manner befitting this celebration of praise and thanksgiving to God. Mm -hmm.